Hey everyone, I'm Grant, the Rusty Autoholic Guy, and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be removing the old adapter, so we're going to remove the flex plate, this dust shield, the adapter itself, and the crankshaft adapter. Once we get that done, we're going to put on the new adapter so we can try mating the Kubota V2403 to the 6R80E six-speed automatic that I have sitting right here. So I'm going to get to work. We're going to start off by removing the six bolts that are holding the flex plate to the crankshaft adapter on my Kubota V2403, and then we're going to remove the adapter plate itself. This is the original adapter that I've had on my Kubota V2403 for quite a long time now. And this thing has held up amazing. I'm actually really impressed. Clean this up, you probably couldn't even tell that it was used. Now this is the piece that I'm actually really concerned about. This is almost a press fit. So getting this off is gonna be a little bit of a trick. We're gonna try this and see if it works. <laughs> right tool for the right job. That worked perfectly. All right, we're now gonna install the crankshaft adapter onto the Kubota V2403. The trick is two of these bolt holes are closer together and you have to figure out where it is on the crankshaft. And because this is almost a press fit, really have to take your time and make sure you get everything lined up. Now, photo swappers did include hardware, which I'm grateful for. So the way I'm going to do this is we're going to line up the holes, we're going to install all the bolts, and we're going to slowly tighten them to pull the crankshaft adapter in. Once it's all the way in, we'll then take out each bolt, put some Loctite on it, and then reinstall it onto the Kubota V2403. So next is the first piece of the two-piece adapter. So this, there's a dial pin right here, and it actually goes in right here. So that's the mark that you line up for. And it is a bit of a tight fit around this rear seal. So, we're gonna secure it in place with three bolts. Now we're gonna attach the upper piece. And it comes with these two bolts. I don't know if these were custom made or bought, but they go there and there. And it's what perfectly aligns this plate to this bottom plate, which is very important. All right, I'm gonna have to get longer of these bolts because the plate is now wider than the original adapter plate. All right, I went through my bucket of bolts and I think I found all the right bolts. I found five matching and one that doesn't match, but they're the right length and the right pitch. So it should work. But now we're gonna finish installing all the fasteners here, and then we're gonna attach the flex plate to the crankshaft adapter as well. Okay, we're now gonna fit the flex plate on it, and then we'll be able to see if it will slide up onto the 6R80, but before we do that, we have to make sure we put 
this on first. And this goes like this. And this is gonna be a little bit of a balancing act. Interesting, okay. These two bolts don't fit and it needs to be trimmed around here. All right, so what I'm gonna do to make my life easy, I'm gonna cut this right across here. It shouldn't really affect the plate, but then I'll clear these two bolts. This one's flush, and I'll just reinstall this bolt over here and we should be okay. Actually worked out really well. So now we should be able to install our flex plate. Once we get these bolts installed, we can try attaching the Kubota engine to the Ford 6R80 automatic transmission. Now for the big moment of truth, I turn the engine. Well, the engine turns, but I can barely turn it, but I could be on a compression stroke. And that almost 22 to one compression. Oh, I think something's wrong. That's too tight. Okay, we're gonna set the engine down and do our best to shimmy that torque converter off. I was told it was gonna be a tight fit. I knew it was gonna be a tight fit. I didn't know it was gonna be this tight. All right, everyone, it's been a couple of days. I've been talking to Kubota swappers and what we have discovered is the crankshaft adapter is about a hundred thousandths of an inch too long. The reason for that is he actually had a bad batch of these adapters and he couldn't find the last bad crankshaft adapter. Turns out he sent it to me. Again, I've had this kit for well over a year. I'm not upset by it. Another one's already on its way, but mail is going slow right now. So this is really the reason why you wanna do this on the ground. If I had gone ahead and put my Kubota V2403 back in my Wrangler, 
trying to figure this out would have been a nightmare. So I'm glad we did it this way. As soon as the new crankshaft adapter gets here, I'll remove this one, we'll install the new one, do another test fit and see if the engine spins over freely. But anyway, that's all I have. It's YouTube, you know what to do. Take out more than you bring, tread lightly, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.